Hey there, it's me, Ripper the Clown, the unpredictable cartoon character come to life, and let's talk about the 2017 WWE Hall of Fame, shall we? It was announced earlier that Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle will be the very first inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2017, and now we've learned that the Rock and Roll Express, Robert Gibson, and Ricky Morton will also be a part of the 2017 WWE Hall of Fame, and I'm here with some exclusive breaking news from the Ripper the Clown news desk. You have not heard this anywhere else. I can confirm via my sources deep within the WWE that Ed Leslie, a.k.a. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, will be going into the 2017 Hall of Fame class. And you are not going to hear this elsewhere. Again, this is a Ripper the Clown exclusive. But this induction of Brutus the Barber Beefcake is actually going to be something very special because the WWE has decided to induct all of Ed Leslie's various personas, albeit over a lengthier time frame, over the next nine years. It will be a celebration of Ed Leslie, the man with the most wrestling gimmicks next to John Tenta. Now, this may seem kind of complex, and you may be confused, so I'm going to make this process very simple for you. Let's start with the 2017 Hall of Fame, which consists of, thus far, Kurt Angle, the Rock and Roll Express, and Ed Leslie's most famous incarnation, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. That's right, the barber will be strutting and cutting his way into the 2017 Hall of Fame. Now, in 2018, Ed Leslie will be going into the WWE Hall of Fame as his least known gimmick, Ed Boulder. And I'm also told that Scott Hall, a.k.a. WWE Hall of Famer Razor Ramon, will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame once again, this time as the American Starship Coyote. And in addition, um, you may remember that The Godfather was inducted into the Hall of Fame back in 2016, <clears throat> you know, last year. And now, two years later, in 2018, I'm told that he will be going into the Hall of Fame again, this time as The Good Father. And I just got off the phone with my source in the WWE, and they tell me that in 2018, main eventing the Hall of Fame will be Battle Cat. Now, if you are a hardcore wrestling fan, you know that every year in the WWE Hall of Fame, there's always an iffy induction that makes true wrestling fans raise an eyebrow. You know, an induction that just doesn't make sense because the inductee doesn't seem Hall of Fame worthy. Well, I've been informed that the nonsensical and inexplicable induction for 2019 will be Ahmed Johnson. And I've also been told that the video package on Ahmed Johnson will focus on his fluid ring work and his stellar, coherent promo style. Also in 2019, of course, Ed Leslie will be going into the Hall of Fame, this time as the short-lived and almost forgotten about gimmick. And you know what? I don't even think we were ever, we were ever officially told the name of this guy, but I've heard that he was supposed to be called the Mariner. Folks, in 2020, it will be a magical night at the WWE Hall of Fame, and I will do everything in Ripper the Clown's power to procure tickets to this event, because in 2020, they are inducting both the Disciple and the Zodiac on one freaking night. Now, this is the schedule as it exists right now. Keep in mind, it's still preliminary, but this is what we know at the moment. The Disciple will go on first or second in the evening. You know, he'll get inducted, he'll give a speech, he'll run off stage into the back, he'll shave his beard, change his clothes, slap on some face paint, and he'll come back on later on in the evening for the final induction as the Zodiac. And you know, the Zodiac speech will be really short, just a bunch of yeses and noes, but this will truly be a night for wrestling fans to remember. Let me tell you something, wrestling fans. The Hall of Fame in 2021 is going to shock a lot of people. I am told that Frankie is going into the WWE Hall of Fame. That's right, Frankie. Now, we all know that Frankie 
was Coco Beware Psychic that he brought to the ring night after night. Coco Beware, also in the Hall of Fame. And sadly, like so many others in pro wrestling, Frankie is no longer with us. He's deceased. He passed away a few years ago, dying tragically. And you know what? What I'm about to say, you know, I'm not saying anything that the entire internet wrestling community hasn't known and talked about for years. Everybody knows this. There was bad blood between Frankie and and the WWF slash WWE for a good number of years, over a decade actually. You know, back in the day, I guess, Frankie had some creative differences with Vince McMahon, and of course there were some alleged incidents with Stephanie McMahon when she was younger, but since Frankie passed away tragically, Vince has decided to bury that hatchet, and in 2021 they're going to induct Frankie posthumously into the WWE Hall of Fame next to Coco Beware. And before he left office, President Barack Obama was actually asked about the induction of Frankie, and he was quoted as saying, it's common sense and the right thing to do. Also, in 2021, Ed Leslie will be inducted as Dizzy Hogan, which I believe was a gimmick where he's supposed to be Hulk Hogan's brother. I'm really not sure, but I'm just kind of, you know, drawing the conclusion there. But regardless, I think that it's a guarantee that the immortal Hulk Hogan will be returning to the WWE to induct Dizzy Hogan, you know, his fake brother, brother. Now, when 2022 hits, I'm told that Gator Scott Hall is being considered for the WWE Hall of Fame. We don't know for sure. Keep that in mind. We don't know for sure. There's a big question mark there regarding Gator Scott Hall. I have my reputation at stake. I have great credibility, uh, impeccable credibility. So just to be on the safe side and to err with caution, I'm saying we don't know 100% about Gator Scott Hall being in the 2022 Hall of Fame. But what I am being told is that Vince McMahon is strongly considering the Gator Scott Hall character as Hall of Fame worthy. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. However, what is a definite lock is Ed Leslie going into the Hall of Fame as the man with no name, which is actually a name in and of itself if you think about it. Now, I never understood the man with no name gimmick. I don't think anyone did, but hey, this was mid-1990s WCW, and <clears throat> well, that says it all, right? The, w D <clears throat> excuse me, the WWE is ignoring the man with no names, name and gimmick hole to celebrate the man known as the man with no name. And I'm telling you right now, be prepared people. There will probably be a solid 10 minutes of a thank you, the man with no name, clap, 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 clap chant. It's going to be deafening and it will be bedlam when the man with no name goes into the WWE Hall of Fame. Also, in 2022, in the celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame, which we haven't talked about much in this info informational video, the WWE will be inducting the two failed ventures of Vince McMahon, the complete rosters of both the WBF and the XFL. It will be a long induction for sure. I mean, we're looking at probably 10 hours minimum. It's going to be a long night at the Hall of Fame in 2022, but hey, I think I speak for everyone when I say that we can wait and get through the XFL and WBF to see the man with no name inducted. In 2023, I have two confirmations. Ed Leslie will be inducted as the Butcher. Now, I know that the man with no name gimmick actually came after the Butcher gimmick. I have no idea why the WWE is inducting the Butcher out of chronological order after the man with no name. You would think they would do so in sequential order, but you know, they must have some strategic special marketing plan planned. So it may sound weird to us, but in their minds, it probably makes perfect sense. Now, we all remember the Butcher. He was supposed to win the WCW title from Hulk Hogan back in the day, but it didn't happen. But hey, he's still going into the Hall of Fame. And here is my second confirmation for 2023. Drum roll. Sci-fi fans, prepare yourself. The WWE will be inducting Max Moon into the Hall of Fame. I'm told there will be a futuristic theme to the night. Will Conan or Paul Diamond be inducted as Max Moon, or will it be a dual induction? We'll have to wait until 2023 to find out. 
In 2024, the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony will have a man gimmick theme. That's right. All gimmicks with the word man in them. Ed Leslie will be going in as the Booty Man. They are also planning to induct the Repo Man. Billy Gunn as the Ass Man. Longtime Hall of Fame holdout, the Honky Tonk Man. Man Mountain Rock. The Boogie Man. I'm told that Big Steel Man is a lock. However, Mantar is still iffy at best, but still possible. So we can really hope and pray that Mantar gets inducted into the 2024 Hall of Fame with all the other man gimmicks. It's a brilliant idea. And if Mantar is inducted, I hope he wears his big hairy hat. And by the way, Mantar should never be confused with WCW's Minotaur, who will never be in the WWE Hall of Fame, even after they've inducted everyone possible, including Van Van Horn. Now, fans have been demanding this one for years, and finally, in 2025, it's going to happen, people. Finally, Big Brother Brutai will be inducted, and he'll take his rightful place in the Hall of Fame. I said it, and I will repeat it, Big Brother Brutai in the Hall of Fame, and undoubtedly, Hulk Hogan will also do this induction. Now, also in 2025, the Shockmaster will be inducted. Yes, it's Big Steel Man's alter ego, the Shockmaster. And my source who gave me this info, let me tell you, his leaks and tips are always impeccable. His info is always gold. He has the utmost credibility. He told me that the Shockmaster will accept his place in the WWE Hall of Fame by falling through the backstage wall onto the stage and then approaching the microphone to give his speech. It will be amazing. There will not be a dry eye in the freaking house. Everyone will be crying with nostalgia in their hearts and in their minds when they see the Shockmaster fall through that wall again. And if you think the Shockmaster was a big shocker, this is a bigger shocker. In 2025, Nails will be Hall of Fame bound. This is a huge shocker. Not unlike Frankie, because we all know that there was some bad blood, okay? <laughs> Let's be truthful, some really, really bad blood between Vince McMahon and Nails. It seems that back in 1992, Nails attacked Vince McMahon backstage and beat the shit out of him and choked him out over money. And uh, so, of course, Nails was immediately done in the WWF, and he did a one-shot deal in WCW as The Prisoner, and then he was in that Sergeant Slaughter and Tito Santana Federation. I don't remember the name of it, but I do know they called him Nails, but they, did, they just changed the spelling of the word. And then Nails also testified against Vince McMahon in the infamous steroid trial. But despite being a witness for the state, Nails' hatred of Vince McMahon was apparently so intense in his testimony that the jury sided with McMahon and found him not guilty. Hey, that's just what I've read. I don't know if it's true or not. Otherwise, Nails kind of vanished from wrestling. He's been living in obscurity. He doesn't do any shows or conventions. And he has never done an interview, which is pretty amazing. And no shoot interviews or anything. And uh, there have been talks between Nails and the WWE over the years. A lot of secret talks. And, uh, you know, all about inducting Nails into the Hall of Fame. Now, apparently they wanted to induct Nails back in 2012. But I'm told that nothing ever happened because Nails has always been reluctant. But now I'm told that Triple H reached out to Nails. They talked. They had a very long discussion. They may have even had lunch, possibly a sandwich. At least that's what one of my sources told me. And now Nails is going into the Hall of Fame class of 2025. Anyway. The bad blood is behind everyone, and Nails is going into the Hall of Fame, and they've ta they were talking about maybe inducting Nails as the prisoner per his brief one-shot WCW gimmick, but I believe they've locked it down, no pun intended, to induct Nails as Nails. Also in 2025, Robocop will be taking his spot in the celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame. And with sadness in my heart, I have to say that 2026 will be the very last of the Ed Leslie inductions into the WWE Hall of Fame. It will almost be 10 years of inductions 
for Ed Leslie, and we'll finally get to see everything come full circle in 2026. And in this ceremony, Ed Leslie will just go in as plain Brewers Beefcake. No barber, just Brewers Beefcake, former tag team champion. And by this point, Ed Leslie will have procured 10 Hall of Fame rings. That's a ring for every freaking finger, people. It's going to be awesome. And I know many of you watching this video may have your concerns, and rightfully so. After all, Ed Leslie does have a checkered past. You can check out my video on YouTube regarding Bruce the Barber Beefcake and his anthrax cocaine scare that he caused in the subway system. If you haven't watched it, look it up. It's an awesome presentation complete with LJN figures to demonstrate how Brutus the Barber Beefcake spilled his cocaine. Now, the WWE is fully aware of Ed Leslie. Ed Leslie's past. They don't want any incidents or problems at the Hall of Fame. They want everyone to have a good time. WWE officials have told Ed Leslie straight out, there will be no cocaine. There will be no anthrax. And there will be no pretending that your cocaine is anthrax at the Hall of Fame. Now, I'm pretty sure that Ed Leslie knows the consequences of his behavior, and I'm sure that he'll respect the WWE's wishes and abide by their rules and just leave his cocaine and anthrax at home for the weekend. Also, in 2026, Kim Chi will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Kamala will be doing the induction speech, and that will be worth the price of admission alone. And in the celebrity wing, I'm told that Katie Vick will also be inducted. No one saw this coming. It's a real shocker. You see, the WWE is hoping that Katie Vick's unsolved death will be solved by 2026. So that's the time frame that they're looking for and looking at to make her a part of the Hall of Fame so they can honor her contribu contributions to the annals of pro wrestling history with this very special posthumous induction. And I'll be honest with you, it's about damn time, you know? It's only apropos that Triple H will do the induction for Katie Vick. Phew. So, after inducting all of the incarnations of Ed Leslie by 2027, the WWE will finally get around to inducting Miss Elizabeth, Bruiser Brody, The Midnight Express, Beautiful Bobby Eaton, and Sweet Stan Lane, The Love Machine Art Bar, a.k.a. Beetlejuice, Brian Effin Pillman, Matt Bourne as Doink the Clown, William Regal, and the Widowmaker Barry Windham. And I'm also told that certain WWE officials are lobbying for Ed Leslie to go into the Hall of Fame again in 2027, this time as himself, Ed Leslie, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. So there you have it, courtesy of Ripper the Clown, the next 10 years of WWE Hall of Fame inductions. <laughs>